Your double duelist, you've got your Sova, you've got your Astra, and you've got your Cypher. This is a really, really, really normal bind composition. Oh, butter. They've been playing pretty fast on their offense, and they are going to have to play so well here. They cannot drop picks. They do not have a real strong push in here and a, and a, uh, a real strong post plant. They don't really have much to lock back down with. Luckily, they are starting on the defense, though, so they get to, get to take a second before they have to get to that point. Yeah, they're coming into this one full force. The defensive pushing. Quite a normal strat. Oh, but <laughs> Steph is just going to take down KP through the smoke there. Absolutely just spray spraying the way through it with the right click on the classic. Junji now have complete control of the B site. But it looks like they're opting, yeah, just to take control before they start getting that spike down. And control is what they're not going to get as picks get taken down on both sides. But Carly's taken oh. down one with a paint grenade behind now. And Laurie is going to have to pick up the pieces. Low health in hookah there. Panini coming to join her. Now it's up to these two to retake this one. Very difficult on this site. A, l a bunch of gravity wells go through to try and keep everybody in their locations, but it's not going to happen. Carly takes down Laurie. Oh, Panini gets two. Oh, 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 and on 21 HP, going to start defusing this. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Well, there's the script working out for you. Steph gets one tap onto her through the wall there. Brilliant. And absolutely. Uh, amazing there. Genji, I mean, holding on to it for dear life after Panini comes through with those couple picks, but uh, in the end, what can you do when you're trying to retake 2v1 and one of your plays is such low HP? Oh, that... Steph just... just bullying them there. Finding the pick through the box. Panini really thought she had something going, but Steph quickly there to shut it down. Look at this prediction from build butter they've put so much up early but they got so much info early as well they're already rotating over here towards a they get to walk into sight but it's going to be a quick retake almost certainly from build butter who oh. have control of shower but click quickly tyre is there and ready lily sneaks oh, in as well there. trey catching two and carly finds one towards the ct side as well and built butter they read it effectively they were ready to play out this eco but they just can't even get it started no momentum to be given away by Bumble here. Yeah, it's difficult now as they push through. They're trying to get anything from heaven from CT. And oh god, Lily's going to find Laurie in midair. And now it's just down to KP. Stuck in CT. Absolutely not going to find anything. Actually going to save on a pistol round, which is very uh, uh, indicative of the way this round went. I mean, it was brilliant from Genji Bumble clearing uh, both players in bathrooms there. Yeah, typically... We don't always see that at a team. Sometimes we see the shower player get to <laughs> just go sit and chill and ends up coming through with a huge flank, but incredibly disciplined from Bumble. And clearly, this last map not affecting them at all. They will find KP as well, so they clean up everybody, getting a little bit extra money for that kill. And they don't look phased at all. They look like they're still into it doing wonders here in the first two rounds but now they play against play assault, assault rifles yeah but they didn't lose a single member in that round which means not only are they building up that economy massively because they don't have to and nobody has to buy a new weapon but they still have all full specters nobody's buying up anything awkward they're not gonna have to buy up around stuff they, they're all just sat there still with their weapons and they they don't have to spend any money they don't have to worry about anything which is just a great way going into this round and if they even find two picks they have won this round so now they push through finding anything they can over towards the a site trying to push through mid here and also one in bathrooms trying to find that first pick but he, she's been walled off there hannah not gonna be able to find anything but they push through now a short trying their best to find oh. the first pick oh and the flower fall gets taken almost to full down and there it is Panini and Diana get two picks, though. But that's already a brilliant round from Bumble. And they also have the spike down. They now just need to hold on to their positioning. And they could still win this round. A lot of space here to be had. KP the flick over. Not going to quite find it. But able to keep them away. Lori, two huge picks. And now the defuse started. And Diana cleans it up with the judge to a short. What a clean round from Build Butter effectively playing themselves through towards the back of the site and they clean it up it was looking dangerous for mm. sure
but quickly evacuating all the Bumble players out of sight and taking an easy retake. Yeah, but as I said, uh, you know, taking two picks would put Junji Bumble at an advantage because look at this. They not only have enough money to buy up into this round, they have enough money to buy up into next round if they lose this. And uh, Built Butter barely have enough to buy up into this round. They uh, they just about got it by uh, getting those last few picks and not losing any more players. If they'd lost one more player, that would have been it for them. They wouldn't have been able to buy up fully into this round. But now... Here comes Genji Bumble once again, pushing towards that A site. They love this A site. Absolutely their favorite as they now get through here. And Built Butter are already playing such a defensive uh, position. They don't want to lose any weapons on this one because if they lose Why a weapon, they're not going to be able to get a new one in the next round. So out comes the Cosmic Divide to keep them out of the site now. And that's actually a brilliant ult because it's not only going to give them control of the site, it's going to make it completely uh, impossible for the Built Butter right. players to push through, but it does give them enough time to come together and try and retake this 5v5. So here comes the aggressive play. Is Laurie going to push through? Just trying to get up onto there. Oh, finds one pick. Almost, yep. Finds a second as well. Carly takes down Panini, but here comes the showstopper. It's not going to find it before Diana gets there. And now it's a 3v1. It's a brilliant round now from Built Butter because they take that last pick down as well, and that's actually great. Laurie, the huge confidence booster to play all the way up to truck and look for those picks but she does it so effectively she even clears the bench angle a chance for the ult kill as well but diana sneaks through and finds two of her own I make that round look so good a second beautiful retake from build butter they're finding what works finding a foothold here and we've got a game on our hands we absolutely do. This is brilliant. Now, as I said, Genji do have enough to buy up into this round, just about. Uh, so if they can win this next round, all is not lost at all. But it's uh, not a nice position to be in, knowing that you need to get those oh. picks. And Laurie has found one already. That's going to stop them from getting anything. They don't have a Sage. They can't res that up. So they're just going to have to back up and rethink their position now. And the spike is now still over towards CT. They have to look at that. They had to commit a flash there over onto short to make sure they had control of that because they didn't know if they still had control. So they're having to commit uh, abilities to just get the smallest amounts of map control. Hannah lurking over there towards bathrooms, making sure that nobody pushes out for the flank. But now they're going to push over towards B, try and take some hookah positions. Oh, comes Lily with the Molotov towards the towards a uh, long there, trying to push anyone out of there, but nobody's there at all. They have this advantage through. here. She took forever to try to bring that rotate over. Didn't bring it all the way through. So that's going to leave a lot of room as KP's just now getting to the site. The flash comes down, gets some info, but still not able to get out. We're seeing some of the icebox trouble start to resurface. They have that advantage, the chance to trade, but just left. nobody playing through. Committed so much util to a push that they're actually not going to opt to take. And Built Butter are ready for this rotate. They have two there already. KP's back yet again. And they've got some Astro Utility to play off of as well. Panini Pan catches one, pulls the shower side, catches everybody. But Teray will catch her towards the back side, trading it out. Steph can't find anything, and Built Butter are coming up with huge picks here. Lori somehow manages to evade the Cypher, and Diana cleans it up once again. Bumble, they just don't play out. They sit there and they wait too long, and Built Butter take full advantage. They're ready for the picks and the rotate as well. Yeah, that is difficult now because, I mean, that first pick was so essential from Laurie getting that first one onto Kali, especially because Kali is the top fragger on the team. It's a, you know, it's a difficult situation to lose uh, your duelist coming into that one. Now, I mean, they're going to have to play. It looks like they're going for an eco round, even though they have enough money to buy up for a couple of them. So they're playing for that economy now, and that means they're going to have to pretty much give up a round. Flowerful's going to be caught out there but the wall was already down so it doesn't matter and now uh, almost has that res available no map control coming out here from built butter though because bumble are taking all of these positions towards long towards hookah they're going to be able to push forward it's whether they get those picks or not that is going to uh, make all the difference coming into sight here they're pushing away the built butter members they're not finding anything just yet. So much utility is coming out that it's difficult 
Keep that alive. Anna is watching that flank there over towards a short, which is keeping everybody from coming back round. That's a brilliant position to have, but Lily's already taken down Laurie. Diana finds one onto Hannah over in that flank, which means the flank is completely open. They are actually going to rush all the way towards them. No, they're just checking it and going back over towards B. I know there's still only two here, but the Cosmic Divide has come out to stop them from getting too far into B. It means they're going to have to push all the way through it to get that first pick, but the Flash is going to come out now. Try and push them through. Carly gets onto site. Steph pushes through as well. Flowerfall's going to find one oh. pick before the trade comes out, which is unfortunate, but they do have the numbers advantage now. They know both players are probably going to come from the flank because that's where that pick came onto Hannah from. Diana, the position in Dehuka, both there. Able to play through. There's no way they're expecting both. Oh, as Panini no. will catch one for free. Diana running around in these kunais looking for some picks. But the sneak all the way to long to get that ultimate out. Is going to get the bomb at oh, least half. But Panini now has to try to find two. It's going to start with the raise towards the back of sight. Knows that Sova is going to be Garden. But when does he get there is the question. Now oh, is my the God. answer. She catches the first. But it will be Carly to cleanly bring it back. 5 HP. They brought it down to the wire. That is a beautiful round from Genji Bumble. Not only getting the picks they needed with that, that's definitely going to be a timeout for Built Butter because they just lost that round to a, a very awkward... But actually, maybe not. I don't know. It would be nice to see who told the tactical pause, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but now... Built, uh, well, Bumble have got themselves back into this game. They're able to buy up those ARs into this next round. It's a little bit of an awkward buy from Built Butter because, uh, you know, they, they, they have to buy back that operator. They have to buy back all of those weapons, and now they just about have enough money to get a full buy going. But if Bumble win this next round, it's going to be difficult for Built Butter to get back into it. Um, it's a difficult situation for both teams, actually. It's an interesting timeout call from Bumble, especially after taking that round. I mean, I guess because it came so close... And they're trying to figure out how they're going to close these gaps. But this could end up doing the exact opposite. It could end up killing momentum that they've just built up if they're not careful. Mm -hmm. Now, as the timeout is going to time out, they are going to have to make as much happen as possible. The pressure is still on uh, Genji Bumble to make the attacks happen and try and get uh, anything going. But, uh, you know, this is, you know, this is a team that. It, they, they play so many different comps. The, the, I, I would consider them the, the, the easily the most uh, flexible team in this one. The, 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 the way they play different comps on different maps uh, is quite impressive. They've got very flexible players, but that does mean that maybe your duelist isn't dedicated to being a duelist, you know? If they're playing controller on another, another map, it means that they don't spend all their time playing that duelist position. It means maybe you're sacrificing a little bit of that, of that uh, you know, specific skill on that specific kind of attack. But now they push towards A once again, looking for picks. Panini already in an advanced position, trying to stop anybody from getting through A short. I think they're going to be ready to check that corner. We'll see. Hannah trying to bait out a couple shots by peeking around the corner. Hannah not quite going to get hit there, but knows that there's one around the corner, but not going to check this one. Panini's going to find that first pick. Lily's going to get the trade, but it's already... Oh, pushing through oh. there. Carly finds KP through uh, that through Hannah's uh, trap there, and now they have the position. They have that cosmic divide. Lily finds another pick onto Flowerful. One enemy remaining. Oh, and Laurie's going to get taken down as well, and that's a 1v4. Diana trying to save this operator, get as many exit picks as possible. And there you go. The team plays in together. They take the trades, and they get to walk into sight. We just haven't seen that from Gen G Bumble. They haven't been willing to risk losing members on the attack, they only lose one, two. They trade so effectively, they walk into sight, they secure their post plant, and it's an easily one round for them, as that's gonna leave KP to go save. I mean, this is exactly what we need to see from this team. They can, and they have done it before. We've just seen them do it now. All they need to do is keep it up, and they'll be looking at a dominant half. Yeah, I just saw it in chat. Bumble won't crumble. Bumble won't stumble. Bumble will make you stay humble and uh, <laughs> hopefully they can keep that up because I mean it's actually really awkward that Diana has saved that uh, operator I mean obviously you want to save the operator there's no reason why you wouldn't but it, it, it kind of forces your team to buy up around you and now they have such awkward buys Laurie doesn't even know what to pick up here 
Because if they save money, then Diana won't be able to fully buy into the next one, and it becomes awkward when, when, when you're trying to buy up around a saved weapon. But they've figured out what they want to do. It's all down to how they play it now. As Shinji Bumble have the advantage in this round, they can kind of play it the way they want. They're coming through B here, finding the positioning over in Hookah. Pushing through here, Carly going to look for a first pick. And oh, turning around oh, the corner. Oh. Both of them are looking the wrong way. Laurie and KP are both going to get taken down before they can even fire a shot. That's a beautiful opening from Carly there and completely gives them control of the site. Now they can get the spike down whenever they want. Now comes, I think, spike yeah, planted. here comes some stars on the side of uh, Bill Butter, but it, it's so difficult to retake this one. Oh, oh, that's a lovely little paint grenade. Going to do a lot of damage to P Panini there. Take away that armor completely. And now Diana looks for this first pick. Oh, oh quite just missing it. Flowerfall's already been taken down as well. Now over in Elbow with that aggressive play from Lily. Now it's just down to Panini, and I think Diana's going to have to save this operator once again. <laughs> This was a round that really required Diana to come up huge on the operator and just nothing really brought to the table for her. But on the other hand, Carly getting in to the site, it's just really unlucky towards elbow. Both players trying to jump around that corner, but just not <laughs> making it all the way through, oh. allowing Carly to catch two oh, on a ladder and no, I, was, I was just going to say, I'm pretty sure Panini did that on purpose. The, uh, I am thinking so. Yeah, the bonus you get from dying is a little more than a uh, sheriff. Uh, so, um, probably, yeah, a better choice on that one. But now, again, they're having to buy up around this operator, and it's still awkward because not all of them can get full armor on this one, and they're kind of being staggered through this uh, in the way that Diana is saving this operator every round. And it's obviously not, you know, Diana's fault. Diana has to save that operator, otherwise you're, you're losing so much so much weaponry but uh, it, it definitely keeps it it's, it's it's an awkward situation that you really can't do anything about but now they're going to have to push over towards a they're going to have to defend this fully fired up genji bumble team that really want to retake this series now as the push slowly comes through stars are ready to catch them in their tracks panini up towards heaven and one over towards CT. Here comes the showstopper pushing through oh, a short. No. Going to be pushed out of place by the gravity well, I think, there. And I'm not going to find anything with this at all. There's nobody in the location. Tries to fire it through towards heaven. Doesn't find anything. And now it's all ready for the retake. The Sky Ultimate comes out to try and find out where everybody is playing. Panini takes down one pick onto Lily from heaven there. And now Diana is pushing through with this operator. Jumps up onto truck. Can't find anything. Oh, so much coming through here. Oh, Laurie gets taken down by Hannah there, but the trade comes through from Panini. But that was, uh, I think that was an ult coming through from uh, the raise there that, that, that has been completely wasted now. And the spike is already down on the B site. That rotate came through very quickly. And Flowerfall's gone for the res on Laurie to make it a 5v3, but they still need to retake this one, which can be difficult in this position. To come through. Diana trying to find anything but gets seeked out by that owl and it's just going to get sprayed down through the smoke. Uh, Ture finding one. KP comes around the corner and gets that trade though and Laurie finds Steph and now it's all down to Carly and Carly can't really do much in this situation. Going to have to turn around the corner try and get the spike diffuser. Not going to find anything. Laurie is going to clean that one up. A brilliant round from Built Butter. Yeah, Built Butter finding trades as this team tries to play in. A second as they rotate and play in towards the B site. And then the res as well to solidify that massive advantage. They cleanly brought it home. Absolutely. It's exactly the break they needed coming into this one. It was their first kind of full buy. Well, I wouldn't call it a full buy, but it was as close to a full buy as you can get uh, in their situation. And now they need to try and chip away a little more at Genji Bumble's economy. This is a pretty similar round to what we will have seen last round, but... In this case, the pressure is now on Genji Bumble to keep their economy alive. Because if they come away with a loss on this one, they only have one buy left. If they come away with a win, they have two safe rounds that they can lose without uh, without having to worry about buying up into the next round. And he's going to go for an incredibly aggressive push here. And actually oh. find two picks. Nobody Fight even fired their weapons at her. Lily's going to find the trade, but it's already down to a 3v3. And that goes in the favor of Bill Butter because it's so much more difficult to push into this one. I say that. Carly pushes through, gets the pick on to KP and now it's having to retake it from Built Butter. That was a brilliant little opening but they just can't compound it with any more kills. Flavor going to be pushed back in towards CT here. 
by that paint grenade and now Ori gonna have to try and find as many picks as possible the location's been revealed so they know she's there she's gonna have to back up until anything happens Lily using that run it back to try and get a pick as soon as possible so much uh, damage being done from flowerful but the uh, heal comes through and also uh, the kill onto Lily's ult Oh, but that's a brilliant little find there. And oh my god, Laurie gets one pick on that one, which is actually more than I'd expect. But Carly is going to clean up the round as Flowerfall gets taken down. It's a good round from Genshi Bumble. That is the Valorant, like, universal <laughs> issue. You find the first two, you pull your knife out, and there's a third waiting in the smoke. Yep. Panini comes up huge to start the round. But let's Lily trade it out, and then Carly takes it from there to bring them back into the site. Still, nonetheless, a very close round. But Panini, the opportunity to solidify it there, just unlucky, really. Right here. Absolutely. It's uh, now going to be difficult for Built Butter. They can't buy up into this round. They're having to go back to their eco ways, and now... Genji Bumble can kind of play this again the way they want. They can uh, pick the site they want to go towards and just kind of uh, go for picks. It looks like that's exactly what they're doing. They're sending one to every choke point. Hannah's looking over towards bathrooms there. Tere uh, and Kali looking over towards A short. Everybody's going to come and join them. It looks like they're going to go for an A take. Everyone is rotating from Built Butter though, and that's a good idea, I think, because they don't have the economy they need uh, to be able to uh, keep them away with lower numbers. They have to retake it as a full team. But now, Jinji Bumble having second thoughts about the way they were going are going to be rotating a little bit round towards Hookah to try and get some picks forward, try and find out where the map control needs to be it's taken. Perfect. But the flank here from KP, actually going to find oh. one. Kali's taken down and the trade can't even come through because... She's got away in time. No. This does give them a little bit of control towards A, though, and Steph is going to take down Panini, which gives them just enough to push forward. Flowerful also going to be taken down off the back of that reveal from the recon dart. They come through. Diana's going to have to try and find something. Here comes the operator, and one pick immediate. That lovely flick onto Lily's torso there. Takes one down, and Diana's going to push through into Lamps here. Find anything more, but that's not going to happen. Steph is going to finish that one off, and it's now all down to Laurie with the Sheriff. Oh, dear. A few shots into the back of her head. We'll finish that one out. I'm so glad that Genji Bumble still found that round. They sold the fake to be so perfectly. They sent two up through Hookah. They used the utility there. And KP's flanking through. She hears it all, and she starts to pull that rotate off of A. But once they start leaving, she gets the information that they're headed out. They rotate back to the A site and Built Butter's there and ready. But at least, time. at the very least, the spacing they gained from that fake allowed them to get into the site, get close enough to play on some very deadly angles, and they still manage to walk away with the round. Yeah, absolutely. Not, sometimes it's not just the kills you need in that opening part, you know. Um... Sometimes being able to play those mind games and keep people away from the positions you want to take is the best way to play it. Diana's playing aggressively here, trying to find Carly with that Guardian. Not quite going to find anything as she turns around the corner, finds one shot, finds two shots. Not able to finish it off just yet. The Satchel comes out to stop them from pushing her, but that's a that's a difficult location to be in as they try and push in towards B now. And they're turning around the corner. Oh. Nobody has their weapons out. This has happened so many times now from Genji Bumble. And KP's in a great position to take more picks down. Dure takes down Lori but it's already a 2v4. Trey's on, uh, Trey's on two health now. And, oh god, it's just such a difficult position. There comes the blind from the uh, sky ult, and it's, oh my god, in a brilliant uh, position there. Diana's gonna take that one down. Steph finds one, but it's so difficult now, and Diana finishes it off again. And it's almost a repeat of our first map. A very dominant first half of the first half, but they walked it back. Once again, they managed to bring the scoreline just a little bit closer. Always better to finish off with a 7-5, but the question is, can they keep the momentum flowing as Bill Butter now are switching towards the attack? Can they indeed? I think uh, it's difficult, I think, for Bill Butter because attacking is sometimes, this is such a, I, I would say it's a, one of the more balanced maps Here. in the map pool, and it, it, it can be difficult to retake momentum when you do lose more rounds in the first half, no matter what side you're playing on. Sometimes defense can be a little easier for teams, but they're going to have to play it uh, very carefully here. Genji Bumble either way. 
I'm looking for info first off. I hear some stuff over towards B and it's a quick to execute from Built Butter as they push forward using that Sky uh, Wolf to uh, keep them away from anything. Carly is going to go for an aggressive push on Laurie here. Laurie doesn't see her, but she's... Oh, okay. Tiro coming into the rescue through the teleporter there is going to find uh, that headshot that uh, bails out Carly there. But now, I mean, Built Butter still have the map control they want, really. Three over in towards CT. Oh, a brilliant headshot from Panini. is going to take down Tira as well. And that last flanking player is going to find some value. But now, Genji Bamba were already kind of stationed up towards the uh, A site. So they can keep them away from there. It's just about how they get back into this B site. They've managed to push away Kali as they get onto that one. Now it's a difficult retake as they all have to come through Hookah area. Oh, and they don't know. They don't know Panini's there. Panini oh, isn't going to be oh. able to find the first pick. That's unfortunate. Hannah's going to come around the corner as long, along with Kali, and that's, yeah, pretty much a death sentence. Genji are trying to take this map, uh, this round back into their hands. They're doing a good job of it. The drone comes out, finds one. Coming around the corner, KP does find Lili there, the only player towards long, and they all have the information that the last three players are all towards there. Diana fans a brilliant shot there after the headshot, and KP finds another one, and it's just... Steph down to her, no time at all, has to push round, finds one headshot, but no time to defuse the spike at all, and uh, that's really unfortunate. Pistol rounds are always interesting, but that one almost switching sides there. For a moment, we saw the entire attacking side of Built Butter in the CT spawn, just trying to figure out where they were going to actually end up hitting towards the end of the round Here. finally they all settle onto the b site Here. but dang did they make it close at the end of the day steph finding some picks but just not Don't able to close it out around. at the end of the day and kp oh so consistent even on pistols yeah absolutely doing so well to get all of those picks especially just keeping an eye on the flanking positions making sure nobody's getting through flowerful tries to get a little oof Flowerful and Panini try and get a little yeah. foothold oh! over there. Oh my god, there's the flying judge from Diana taking one more down. They have full control of this site, and it's an absolute shutout from Built Butter. Just crushing how dominant that round is. Straight from the get-go, pedal to the metal, zooming their way in, and the clean gravity well at the end as well to lock up any hope towards the back of the site. Built Butter looking so strong. And now they get a chance to bonus up a little bit. Not quite sure what they want to hit yet. Kind of thinking about it. Maybe looking for a default here. And Gen G, gotta be quick to shut this one out. Don't want to get bonused here. Don't need that sort of momentum shifting to the enemy team. Not now. Yeah, but they are playing aggressively. Something I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't see usually when you are trying to save as many weapons as you can. The spray coming through the wall is going to hit Panini a few times, but not enough to do too much damage. They don't quite know where everyone is just yet. But here come the stars from Panini, trying to push their way through. Genji, Tiro takes down one more there. Breaking through the wall is going to try and stop Flowerfall from getting any more from that position. Hannah takes down Diana as well, and KP trying to push them out of there, but not going to find anything. Laurie going to try and come around the corner, but Carly's already there with the headshot. KP does find Hannah inside lamps there, and Carly's going to have to pick up the pieces of that one, but it's only two players left on the side of Built Butter, and they're going to have to do as much as they can, which can't be too much. Coming around the corner, Lili there with the flash. Oh, nobody's finding any heads, but there we go. Two heads found at the end of the round to finish that one out for Bumble, and that's a round they really needed. Now, preventing that bonus so effectively... They read it perfectly. They know Bill Butter just zoomed through A. Probably looking for the same sort of thing, just to run it back one more time. They're absolutely right. They're there with the picks. There was a chance there towards the end of the round for KP to come up with something big, but with that much pressure towards the end of the round, it's, it's going to be very difficult to do so, and difficult indeed it was. Now we see pretty much a full buy from everybody, minus Flowerful, who's stuck on a Spectre. You know, that Sage economy is uh, it's difficult to keep up, especially when you've got such uh, expensive utility. But Bill Butter are going to play so aggressively here, and they're going to be punished for it. Lily's going to take that first pick, oh. and the second pick onto KP, and Steph is going to find another one through the wall there. Flowerful, everybody. It's a massacre on B Long. And the last two players stuck in awkward positions. They're going to have to find... I mean, what can you find at this, at this point? 
Just all turning around the corner here. Laurie does find one. There we go. It's back. Swinging in the favor of Built Butter as Panini takes down another over towards A there. Coming through with an aggressive play. Laurie's going to try and find another last pick here, but... Yeah, no, Lily's going to shut that one down pretty quickly. Panini finding another one, and it's back to a 2v1. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, Whoa. no. Oh, Tiri to the rescue once again is going to save Lily's life. Oh, my God, that was an awkward position. And still, even in a round that so quickly went in the favor of Genji Bumble, Built Butter found a way to find some picks. At the very least, make it somewhat expensive. They're doing an excellent job of keeping I'll themselves stick. in the game, at yep. least from an economic standpoint. But now almost certainly right they, they fund another round I'll into the Genji ball. Bumble bank account. That'll and they wet. really have to start figuring out what they need to do on this offense. They're the being way. read so effectively by Genji. They know they want to hit quickly and they're preventing every instance of aggression. Yeah. Speaking of instances of aggression, we've got Jet playing here. Diana with the knives pushes through, but she's been hit by a spike cam dart, which makes it oh Beautiful. difficult for her to find a pick. She does find one onto Hannah, though. That's going to give them a little bit of control over towards here. Carly going to have to try and find anything, but turning around the corner, not going to find anything before Diana with the immediate headshot on that kunai is going to completely take control of A. But that's not where the rest of her team are. And Lili's taken down one, taken down two, and Tiri's taken down a third over there. And that's not going to be the pick for Diana. Turning around the corner, Tiri's going to find that one as well. And now it's back in Genji Bumble's favor. This is a round they really needed, especially with uh, the economy that Built Butter had. So... Uh, out comes Steph with a lineup here, looking like gonna find. What is this lineup? I wanna see. Looking for a recon bolt. But Panini's already pushed through into CT. They're ready for it. Oh, there's the firing squad, and Ooh. eventually Panini is taken down. It's a decent round from Bumble. There's a chance there. There was a real chance there as Diana plays all the way through A, finds two huge picks. But I, I'm not quite sure what happened on the other side of the map. A little bit of a disconnect, maybe? Because she manages the fake all the way through, secures mm. all of A site, but nobody rotates from the Bumble side. They don't fall for any tricks. I don't know if they just contacted too early, if there was some info peaks, if they threw utility too early. But something certainly disconnected there, and it shut down the fake before it could really have the potential that it, it definitely should have. Yeah, I think there was definitely like there was a set plan going forward from Built Butter, and they uh, that's what they wanted, and they didn't really expect Diana to get full control of the A site. And when it did happen, it's just awkward because you're already over on B, you can't really do much in that situation. Built Butter going to take a tactical pause, quite understandably at this point. This uh, round they really need to win uh, because Genji Bumble now have the economy they want, and they now have. Uh, Oh, the advantage coming into this one. They have that information now towards bathrooms as Flowerful pushes through. Not going to find anything because Kali is already backed out in time. They're trying their best to make an A push happen here. And uh, they're pushing into a completely, I mean, confident now Genji side. And they know for a fact that it is a confident side. So they will rotate themselves back away. These rotates, they haven't been what they've wanted them to be. They definitely haven't fooled the Bumble side. Breaking the trip with the dog. Get some information early. They can't quite find anything towards the site. They don't know where these players are playing. They don't know there's two to garden, but they will send two up long. That should allow them the opportunity to clear it out. The blind comes through. They have info. They know at least one's there. Oh, I love the Phoenix setup here, but they're not going to get a chance to utilize it. So they will work back the other way. You want to find it. But in ready and wait, there are two from the Gen G Bumble side. The Cosmic Divide comes out. It's not going to sell anything as Therese already in front of it. She's ready for it. She takes one, but quickly traded out. And the site given up now. The Hunter's Fury comes through from Steph, trying to prevent him oh. here. Catches at least one. And now we've got a 4v4 as they all storm towards the side, looking for the retake. The ultimate comes through, breaking the wall before the plant can go down. But the pick on the planter will not be found. One pick coming through from the raise, but they still got lots of work to do in this retake. They got to clear out this lamp angle. They do just that. They clear the box as well. And it's a massacre here as everybody goes down to the Bumble defense and KP running for the hills, just trying to get out with her life here and possibly that gun as well. Sneaking into tunnel is barely making it out alive. What a retake.
an absolutely amazing retake. First off, that Hunter's Fury just picks out. It did so much damage. Not only did it get the uh, kill onto, uh, onto Diana there, but it also did... It, it hit three other people once, which is so much damage that they could just push through for free. And even if they were going to... You know, like even if they got hit a few times, they were still going to be yeah. able to find those uh, picks, unless unless instant headshots from all members of the Built Butter team yeah, came out now. And Bumble must yeah. be feeling great coming into this one because they've got economy, they've yeah. got rounds, they've got everything they want, and Built Butter have absolutely none of that. And they've got their opponent on the edge of their seat, and they know yeah. it too. As yeah. Built Butter are taking themselves a tactical timeout, they're going to think a little bit. Stop to the Here. side, drop some more plays. Here. They've been executing pretty efficiently, but the Here. retake game has been so strong. They really have to talk about in this tactical timeout what their post plan's going to look like and how they're going to shut down these retakes because right Here. now they just haven't found an answer. Not at all. Here. Bumble looking absolutely dominant right now in the second half, and uh, it's going to be difficult for Butter to find exactly what they need, Here. but... I'm going to head over towards B this time. It looks like they have a complete strat ready. You can see a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, pings coming out from uh, KP there, trying to uh, get her team in check, get everything going. But it looks like a ping has come out actually on the side of uh, Bumble there, saying that they might be going towards Wong. So they might be ready for this one already. They have the similar position they had before with those two sitting over in... Uh, in the long connector and looking into Puka there is Carly doesn't quite find a pick oh. Diana though oh even while blind takes down Lily oh and Carly's oh my god Carly takes down Laurie while she's using the slow stopper Steph takes down Diana Flowerful finds Steph and then Carly takes down KP so much going on in one moment it's hard to keep up but Flowerful coming around the corner doesn't quite find the first pick while the paint grenade was out and that's going to be a death blow towards Built Butter and that is pretty much I hate to say it, but that's kind of the map. Point. Well, whatever strategy, whatever plan they drew up on the whiteboard certainly didn't work. As the defense is too strong. They find the picks, and they still manage to clean up the round and take it to match point. Last buy as well. This is going to be so difficult for Bill Butter, but we have, we have seen them do it before. Don't count them out. It ain't over till it's over, but certainly... It's going to be a tough one. Yeah, it is really going to be a tough one. <laughs> They're trying to just keep Genji from getting out of bathrooms there. Uh, which would suggest that they're going for this A push, which exactly is what they're going for. Lily has already try. found Flower for, though, and that's that's going to hurt because they're going for... Oh, a brilliant play there. Actually, KP finding Lily there, using the ult aggressively to get that first pick, but there's two players on low health now. The heal comes out from the sky, but obviously can't heal herself with that one, so... Still in a bit of a disadvantage here, Built Butter, because they don't have the position they want. They don't have the map control, and they don't have a man advantage either. They're going to head over towards B now, try a secondary plan here. Steph is ready for this one. Smoked off, but able to tell her teammates, come over here, we need your help. The Cosmic Divide comes out on the side of Genji Bumble to keep them away from this one. It's actually split the team in two, because two players on site now, two players stuck in hookah with that one. One comes out. Now, Bumble really taking their time to retake this, which is a smart move. They come around the corner, looking for anything. The overhead view, brilliant. Not quite finding anything as the players are moving in towards Elbow here, but they're ready for that, it looks like. Genji Hanna is going to take down KP now. And turning around the corner, Laurie's going to try and find one. Diana finishes that one off for her. Hanna's already on sight. Tries to find anything. Tira is going to completely close down Panini here, but Diana's already taken down Carly on site. Gets traded out by Hannah. Hannah goes for the defuse already. Going to find half for sure. Tira is going to find Laurie, and now it's all but over. That is it. Genji Bumble take the second map of the series. They look so 